Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute gnome ornament. It's made using the corner to corner technique, making the nose and adding some fringe. So it's um, really easy to make and very quick. So I have a couple of samples here that were <laughs> kind of my test, testing out the design. Uh, this one is made with seven rows, so it makes a, a lot taller hat. You could even stick something in here in the back if you like. Uh, the other two I have, my original and this one, they're made with five rows of corner to corner. And this one has a little bit of a pocket. This one doesn't have a pocket. This was my first one that I made. So let's get started. There's lots of variations that you can use with this pattern. So to begin, I'm using size H hook and I'm using number four yarn. And we're gonna start off by making the hat with corner to corner technique and double crochet. Chain six and place a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook and double crochet in the next two chains. There's one and two. And this is one cluster and it's also row one. So each cluster is going to have three chains and three double crochets. So for row two we're going to chain six again and then we're going to count back to the fourth chain from the hook and we're going to place a double crochet there and again a double crochet in the next two chains one and two. Next to continue this row we're going to we're going to flip this bottom cluster around so that this chain three space is right here where your hook would fall right into. So again, we just put this last double crochet and just flip this around. Just turn it and put your hook right in there and just do a slip stitch. Okay, and chain three. And this is going to be our second cluster. So we chain three and then we place three double crochet in the same chain three space. There's two and three double crochet. So that is row two. Each row is going to increase by one cluster. I'll show you one more time. Chain six. You can also count back up to the third chain and begin your double crochet there. Or you can count backwards four chains. Either way. Okay, and we're going to place three double crochet one in each chain, those three chains. Again we're gonna flip the work, okay? Just flip it over so that your hook is gonna fall right into that chain space from the row below. And do a slip stitch. Chain three, three double crochet in the chain three space, and then slip stitch in the next chain three space chain three and three double crochet in the chain three space. Oop. Okay, so that's row three. Now row four and five are exactly the same as what we have just done. You're going to do two more rows like this. Again, flip your work and then your hook is just going to fall right in there. So row four is going to have four clusters and then row five is going to have five clusters. So I have a sample here with five clusters. Now row six is the most difficult row of the entire project. So we've done five clusters, okay? So to do row or I should say round six. We're gonna, okay, this is the bottom of our hat. 
it's upside down. Okay, so we're working like this. This is the bottom of the hat. So we're going to work up, up the side of the hat to the top. We're going to make our loop. Then we're going to work down the other side of our hat. And then we're going to work across the bottom back to where we started. So to do that, Okay, we, this is round or row five, row six. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Again, working up this side, we're going to go in between each cluster. So one cluster is facing this way, one's going this way, and they're alternating directions. So we're going to just be putting our slip stitches in between each cluster like that. So chain three and going in between the cluster and put a slip stitch. Chain three again, going in between the cluster and put a slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch. Now when we're up at the top here, we're going to make our loop. So to get up there, we're going to chain three again, and I'm going right in that, the bottom of that double crochet there, right at the top. Just put a slip stitch there. Okay, so I have five, one, two, three, four, five, five chain three loops. Now I'm at the top, I'm going to chain ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to slip stitch in that same stitch that I slip stitched in when I first started this loop. Same exact spot. Okay, so here's my hanging loop at the top of the hat. And now I'm going to repeat this process back down the side here. So we're going to chain three and we're going to slip stitch in between each cluster. here, 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 and then we're going to slip stitch down here. So it kind of makes a nice edge for the hat. It's, and just finishes off the hat. And it lets me put the hanging loop all at the same time. Okay, and then chain three, and I'm just going to slip stitch in that bottom chain three there. Okay, so here's my edging on both sides. You could do it in a different color if you like. Now on this bottom section I'm going to change to white because it will be easier for you to see and I think it makes a nice edge. On some of them I did white and some I did red. So I'm going to show you in white. Okay, So I'm just going to Leave a long tail. And I'm going to end that off. Okay. So place a slip knot with the white. And I'm going to put a slip stitch here into that chain three space. So I have these chain three spaces all along the bottom. And then I have my stitches. I have three double crochets in each cluster. So I'm going to be slip stitching in the chain three space and I'm going to put a single crochet in each double crochet. So here's my slip stitch and I'm just going to put three double crochet, one in each double crochet. So there's, there's three double crochet and there's three singles. And I'm going to slip stitch in the next chain three space and I'm going to place one double or one single crochet in each double crochet. Slip stitch and repeat across one single crochet in each double crochet. And this is just making the hat flat on the bottom instead of having that jagged edge. Oops. And one double crochet across, and three stitches, slip stitch here. 
Now I noticed when I get to this last one, if I put if I put the three singles, it makes it a little bit taller on this edge. I guess it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, and then I'm just going to end that off. Okay. Pull that through. So here's my little hat. Okay, here's my edge. And it makes it nice and kind of even across. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to I'm going to whip stitch this bottom section together to make it kind of curl in. So I just take the red and put it on my yarn needle and sew that up. And you can make it as um, you can sew it up as much as you like. I just did the bottom cluster area. Just to keep it together. And just eyeing it. You could do you can do more if you want. I on one of them I went up a little higher. So that's up to you. So just as long as you tack it together. Okay. So what I did to make the hat taller is I just pulled on the on the loop here and stretched it out to make it more pointy. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and now we're gonna make the nose. To make the nose, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. Chain four and we're going to place 11 double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And that first chain three counts as a double crochet. So we'll have 12 double crochet all together. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And for round two, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. Five, six, seven, eight, starting to curl up a little bit, nine, ten, 11, so I have 12 single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So it's kind of making a little bowl here. We're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet two together in the next two stitches. So I just insert my hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, Insert my hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And that makes one, wait, single crochet two together. Okay, so yeah, one single crochet two together. So we're gonna do that in each, in every two stitches. So we're gonna reduce it back down to six. And 
do that all the way around. Just closing up the the nose here. Okay. Now we're going to slip stitch to that first stitch we made. And we're going to leave a long tail so we can sew it to the hat. Okay. So I'm going to pull this through, make a little knot. And I'm going to tuck my beginning tail inside. I'm not going to weave it in, just tuck it in. So I made my nose more like a flat nose like that. You can make it round. You know, you can sew it on however you like. So thread that on. And I just whip stitch this together on the back side a little bit. Just real quick. Just iron it. the back there sorry okay all right so whip stitch that now let's grab the hat okay so I want the nose to be right down the center and there's these three stitches right here on this center uh, cluster so there's there's two clusters on this side and then there's two clusters on that side so I'm gonna put the nose right right here right in the middle I'm going to try anyway. So I'm just going to whip stitch it to here, to the, to the white. I know on one of my um, photos when I was making it, I did a photo tutorial that was sewing it to the red. So either way, if you put the red or you put the white, or whatever color you're using, just sew it up right here. See how that looks. Oh, pretty good. And cute. Okay. So just end this off. Make some knots. Weave it across. Or you could shove it inside there if you like whatever you want to do okay now for the fringe I used I used this bag that I just got from my brother-in-law because it's the right size it's about five inches it's about five inches across so the fringe would be about five inches because it's going to wrap around. So that's about a 10 inch area. Okay, where's the end? There it is. Okay. So each, um, each tassel or each fringe area has three pieces of yarn in it. Okay, so you can put more or less or whatever you want to do. So just cut some fringe. And what I did, separate them into piles of three. Okay. And I just attach it going through the white, or if you have red here, that's fine. If you wanted to continue with the red. And what I mean by that is on round six, if you didn't want to use the white there. And just put it in each single crochet. Pull it up, and then wrap it around your hook and just pull it through. Tighten it down. Okay, so just gonna 
keep putting fringe. Some people don't like fringe. So you could also use fur. I was thinking about using fur. That would be really cute too. Okay. So just keep putting your fringe around. Around for the beard. Underneath. I didn't put any... Well, maybe I did. On one of them I did. So one of them I put a little bit of fringe underneath here. Like, like that and pulled it through just so there was something underneath his nose. However you like. Okay, I need one more piece. Okay, here we go. So that's about it on making this. It's really quick. It's super cute. I think it would look great for teacher gifts or neighbors or relatives. It looks so cute on the tree too. So yeah, you're definitely going to have to put some underneath here. Let's see. going to have to make some more. So once you get done with the fringe, you can cut the beard to be even, or you can make it uneven. So I did it both ways, <laughs> trying to see which way I liked it. So I hope you guys are enjoying this pattern. It's so quick. I mean, I basically made the whole thing on camera. It takes about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And if you're new to Corner to Corner, I have another video that shows you how to do Corner to Corner. Some people say I go too fast, and some people say it's okay. So I think it's hard to please everyone, but I try. Okay, so let me try to put something here underneath. Just kind of going sideways on this one. Try another piece. Put another piece underneath. And again, it's just have fun with these, be creative. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. There we go. How cute is it? Fix his nose. What do you think? You guys, hit the thumbs up. Give me some likes if you like the video. Okay? Be sure and share it too with your friends. Doesn't take long. Super cute. And then I'm just going to weave in these ends. I'll just put these down into the fringe here. I'm not going to weave those in. Just bring those down. Trim them up. And then I'll weave in this end in the back. Weave in that end. I'll show you how I did that. And this uh, metallic yarn, it has a little bit of sparkle in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little bit, yeah. It's not like really in your face, but it's really has a nice sparkle to it. It's not over the top. It's kind of subtle. Okay, so I just bring it down and then right right here in between this cluster I'm gonna make a knot. Make another knot. Just because I want <clears throat> I don't know. I just like making knots. Okay. And I'm going to bring it down this way. And I'm staying in between the stitches. So I'm feeling it on this side, making sure I'm not going through. Bring that knot down. Spread that back out. 
and then I'm going to catch it. I'm, not gonna, I'm going to go back up, but I'm going to catch it and then go back up. So it'll, it goes down, catch it, and then go back up. Trim that off. And then this one, I'm just going to weave it in back here the same way, make a knot, go back and forth. And then I like to pull on this hat and make it more of a longer triangle because I think the gnomes have taller hats. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I think it's so cute. The giant gnomes. All right, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this gnome ornament. Corner to corner gnome ornament. Super cute. Be sure and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Share the video. Give me some likes. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're going to make them and who you're going to make them for and what color would you make them in. And I'd love to see them. If you could tag me on Facebook or Instagram at the Purple Poncho, I would really appreciate it. I really enjoy seeing all your creations and how you uh, imagine my pattern in your style. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks for crocheting with me.